So, welcome back to Absolute Zero Podcast. I'm Jedi Will. Today we're going to take a look at some Master Universe figures. A very special Master Universe figure. Wonder Bread He-Man. You guys who are collectors of Master Universe may know who Wonder Bread He-Man is. He is a figure that no one really knows the origin of. He was thought to have been a mail away through Wonder Bread, though there's not really any paperwork or any verification of that. That's just people who remember getting him in the mail. And I think there's still a little mystery around that. They may have found some information out now that's probably got a little more accurate idea of where he come from, but there was a big controversy with Mattel and the Conan the Barbarian movie property. They had actually uh, given the rights to Mattel to make toys for Conan the Barbarian. And once Mattel saw the film and saw how violent it was, they pulled the toy line. And this figure was thought of to be a Conan figure that was actually like um, given away to the public to hide any evidence of them making the figures that look like He-Man because Conan Barbarian sued Mattel in 1984, I think, because the He-Man figure looked like Conan. But as you can see, He-Man... And Wonder Bread He-Man don't look too much alike, other than the brown hair. Now that could be Arnold. I don't know. I, I I don't know. I just think it's really cool how it's it's a mystery and it's possibly a prototype figure that we never got. Might be the Conan figure. I don't know, but it's super rare, super cool. Um, there's some ideas and what weapons he came with most popular is that he just came with this red axe and sword and no armor or anything but another um idea was that he was released with the weapons pack black zodak armor and all the maroon red weapons that came with the manny faces figure release and those are both ideas of where or what accessories came with um, the Wonder Bread He-Man. So how rare is that figure? If a collector wanted to try to track that down for their collection, how, how tough is it to find? Uh, it, it's pretty uh, high dollar on the market now, and there's a lot of fakes. Like this is a custom one I made myself, and it is pretty good compared to the uh, original. So you got to be wary of that. So tracking one down, you need to know what to look for. There's some small details on the underwear especially. The color is unique. There's something called a belt gap, which is a gap between where the fur starts and the belt ends. There's a small gap there to look for. And other thing to look for is paint that may be a little chipped so you can see that this is not a painted over He-Man figure like this one. This is a painted over He-Man figure, which looks very good for what, what Wonder Bread He-Man is. It's just a He-Man figure that's got different colors, but I've seen them range from anywhere from two fifty to a thousand dollars. But you can get them, and some people find them for a dollar at Goodwill. You know, I heard some stories. Some guy found found one in a bin at Goodwill, got it for a dollar. Luck of the draw. Yep, that's awesome. And that's Wonder Bread He-Man, and he's been um, remade by the Maddie Collectors Classics line, and they called him. One dar, and they did give him the armor, and he gave him his own little sword here. But they packed him with a loaf of bread to joke at the Wonder Bread, and in his back of his armor here, it's got the Wonder Bread symbol, mm. which is cool. It's a cool little nod to the whole Wonder Bread mystery. And that's pretty much it for Wonder Bread He Man. He's he's a mystery man. No one no one really knows. I don't know unless something is come to light and if you're watching this video and you have any more information that might help others viewing this on the mystery of Wonder Bread He-Man hmm. send us a message that'd be cool toy mysteries yeah it's awesome it is awesome it's a possible prototype of Conan who knows man and speaking of prototypes Super 7 this this year as a San Diego Comic Con did a what if release of Master of the Universe figures that are three and three quarter inch and kind of like the Kenner style, like the old school five points of articulation, instead of having the big um, rubber band legs and muscles, like this is supposed to be stage 01 prototype. Like this is going to be like, okay, we want this, but we want it 
better. I think there's a piece of paper that comes with this that has, it's, it's supposed to be like um, notes from, and they come in a plastic tray, I guess I opened mine. It's a note showing the, uh, the specs. Master Universe Collection, boys action figures with accessories, strong fantasy and good versus evil themes. Expands on established industry standard scale, three and three quarter inch, with more muscular and detailed sculpture. Heroic warrior and evil warrior teams, each with primary leader characters. You got He-Man, Skeletor, Merman, Beastman, and these are supposed to be unpainted sculpture samples, and it's supposed to be submitted March eighth, nineteen eighty. That's ten days before my actual birthday, which is really cool. And in case you're stalking me, um. And at the bottom, great comments. It says, great start. Concept and characters are testing well. Fantasy element really connects with the children and parents. Push form to be more distinct from competitors. Bigger, stronger, way more over the top. We want these toys to really pop off the shelf. Revise sculpts to reflect above. So that says that this is how they were originally sculpted and intended. But that note, that comment on the sculptures below was um, supposed to reflect how the toy line actually released in the 1980s with their... Go big. Yeah, their, their giant muscles and, and all that punch action, rubber band legs and stuff. So here's the figures themselves. We can kind of take a look. Here's oh, He-Man and Skeletor. Here's Skeletor's staff. I kind of dropped it there. Maybe Hasbro got the same direction when they released the uh, Power of the Force 2 line. <laughs> go go big yeah, and muscular. That was it. They're like, we want over the top. Oh, and there goes the whip. That's uh, Merman and Beastman. That Merman looks awesome. He is so cool. So Super 7 did a really cool job. They did a video, and I heard it may have been a fake, where they went to the original sculptor's house, and they pulled out this bag of these figures. Like, what, what? It looked real. I don't know, man. Hmm. Do you think it was real, or do you think it was fake? But there they Only are. Only a select few people will know. Like the guys at Super 7. Very cool. They are really cool. I hope they do some more Master of the Universe stuff soon. But thanks for watching, guys. Be sure, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.